What if I told you a Boeing 737 could take off from a runway made of dirt? The early 737-200 was not just built for big airports. With an optional gravel kit, it could operate from remote, unpaved runways in the Arctic, the outback, and mining camps. But landing a jet on gravel comes with problems, though, like rocks firing into the belly or being sucked into the engines. So Boeing added a ski-shaped deflector on the nose gear to kick debris down and tiny air jets beneath the engines to blow gravel away before it could be ingested. The system created a bubble of clean airflow around the engines. No rocks inside, no damage, no drama. It turned the 737 into a short field workhorse, a rare jetliner that could go places usually reserved for rugged turboprops. A ski on the nose wheel, air jets under the engines, and a jetliner landing where most jets never dare. A small modification. But it gave the 737-200 a reputation for going far off the map.